Top 5 Worst Moments in U.S. Baseball This list examines and ranks moments in American professional baseball's history we would all like to forget, some because of human folly, some because of terrible fate. Pine Tar Incident George Brett Pine Tar Incident Everyone loves to see a person get really angry. It's entertaining. But on July 24, 1983, with the Kansas City Royals playing the Yankees, Royal George Brett realized every kid's dream of saving a game in the ninth inning by slamming a homer. It was a two-run bash that put the Royals up 5-4. As he crossed home and disappeared into the dugout, the home plate umpire, Tim McClelland, was alerted by Yankees manager Billy Martin that Brett's bat might have more than 18 inches of pine tar on it, from the tip of the handle up. Black Sox Scandal if you're a baseball fan, you need no backstory to this. But for those who don't know, the 1919 World Series was played between the Chicago White Sox, who were branded Black Sox for what they did, and the Cincinnati Reds. The White Sox were owned by Charles Comiskey, a tyrannical jerk who viewed the players as his property to do with as he liked. He made Ty Cobb look like Jesus Christ. Comiskey was, like all owners, allowed to pay his players whatever he felt like paying them, and under the MLB Reserve Clause, the players had no say in the matter. Comiskey promised Eddie Sicott, a pitcher, a $10,000 bonus if he could win 30 games. When Sicott won his 28th, Comiskey benched him for the rest of the season to keep from paying up. Comiskey promised the whole team a bonus if they won the 1919 pennant. That bonus was a case of 12 bottles of flat champagne. He forced them to pay their own laundry bills for their uniforms. Sandy Koufax throws his arm away. Sandy Koufax balls display image one of the saddest ends to what could have been universally accepted as the greatest pitching career in baseball history was the premature retirement, due to severe arthritis, of Sandy Koufax. He played for 12 years, always for the Brooklyn or Los Angeles Dodgers, and yet after those 12 short years, he had posted 2,396 strikeouts and a career ERA of only 2.76, second lowest in the history of the liveball era. His best seasons were 1965 and 1966. For several years, he was pitching full nine innings of game after game with horrible pain in his left arm, centered at the elbow. The morning after one of these games, he woke to find his arm black and blue from shoulder to wrist from hemorrhaging. To deal with the pain, he began taking empiring with codeine every night, and sometimes during a game, butasolidin and applying capsaicin cream to his elbow. After each game, he had to immerse his left arm in a tub of ice. Steroids Steroids the phrase that has been thrown around quite a lot during this ongoing scandal is, the babe did it on hot dogs and beer. A lot of people hate to see a decades-old record broken because they get used to the number involved. The most famous home run number is 60, ever since Ruth hit that many in a season. Maris broke it 34 years later by just one run. But then, 37 years later in 1998, both Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa surpassed this record in a race against each other. Sosa finished with 66, McGuire with the magic 70. Christy Mathewson gets gassed. Christy Mathewson II Mathewson was one of the mightiest pitchers in baseball's history. His whole career fell within the dead ball era when a single ball was used for the entire game. Such balls were difficult to see after they were covered in infield dirt and tobacco spit, spitballs were legal until 1921. Mathewson was no stranger to the spitball, but he was known as a control pitcher, as opposed to a power pitcher like Nolan Ryan. Whereas Ryan could heave a 100-plus MPH fastball, he isn't renowned for his skill at any other pitch and had quite a few wild ones. Mathewson, however, could throw strikes with everything. You name it, the two seem fast, the four seam, the fork ball, slider, sinker, curve, knuckle, knuckle curve, palm, palm curve, and his money pitch, the screwball, which curves in the opposite direction of the curveball. Mathewson could fling them all right into the strike zone and fan anyone. That's all for today's video make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.